Hello, welcome. God bless you. It's time for today's daily devotion. My name is Stephen. I'm the pastor of Graffiti Fellowship in Brooklyn, New York. And our daily devotion video series is where we take a chapter from the Bible and read it together. Post these videos five days a week. You can access them at any time. But we think five days a week is a good goal. Uh, if you know someone else who might be blessed by including a little of God's Word in their daily routine, please feel free to share these with them also. We're approaching the conclusion of the Gospel of John. So, so far in this daily devotion series, we've read through all of Matthew, all of Mark, all of Luke, most of John. We're approaching the end of the Gospel of John. Today we're reading uh, chapter 18, which means this is the 18th video in the Gospel of John playlist. And uh, chapter 18 is longer than the prior three chapters. This one's, I would say, average length, but the previous three chapters have been uh, shorter than average. <clears throat> chapter 18 is 40 verses, and it covers uh, the betrayal and the arrest and mock trial of Jesus. Let's begin. John 18, verse 1 says, After saying these things, Jesus crossed the Kidron Valley with his disciples, entered a grove of olive trees. Judas, the betrayer, knew this place because Jesus had often gone there with his disciples. The leading priests and Pharisees had given Judas a contingent of Roman soldiers and temple guards to accompany him. And now with blazing torches, lanterns, and weapons, they arrived at the olive grove. Jesus fully realized all that was going to happen to him, so he stepped forward to meet them. Who are you looking for? he asked. Jesus the Nazarene, they replied. I am he, Jesus said. Judas, who betrayed him, was standing with them. And as Jesus said, I am he, they all drew back and fell to the ground. Once more he asked them, who are you looking for? And again they replied, Jesus the Nazarene. I told you that I am he, Jesus said, and since I'm the one you want, let these others go. He did this to fulfill his own statement. I did not lose a single one of those you have given me. Then Simon Peter drew a sword and slashed off the right ear of Malchus, the high priest's slave. But Jesus said to Peter, uh, put your sword away, put it back in a sheath. Shall I not drink from the cup of suffering the Father has given me? So the soldiers, their commanding officer, and the temple guards arrested Jesus and tied him up. First they took him to, to Annas, the father-in-law of Caiaphas, the high priest at the time. And Caiaphas was the one who had told the other Jewish leaders, it's better that this one man should die for the people. Simon Peter followed Jesus, as did another of the disciples. And that other disciple was acquainted with the high priest, so he was allowed to enter the high priest's courtyard with Jesus. Peter had to stay outside the gate. Then the disciple who knew the high priest spoke to the woman watching at the gate, and so she let Peter in. The woman asked Peter, You're not the one of the man's disciples, are you? No, he said, I'm not. Because it was cold, the household servants and the guards had made a charcoal fire. They stood around it, warming themselves, and Peter stood with them, warming himself. Inside, the high priest began asking Jesus about his followers and what he had been teaching them. And Jesus replied, Everyone knows what I teach. I have preached regularly in the synagogues and the temple where the people gather. I have not spoken in secret, so why are you asking me this question? Ask those who heard me. They know what I said. Then one of the temple guards standing nearby slapped Jesus across the face. Is that the way to answer the high priest? He demanded. Jesus replied, If I said anything wrong, you must prove it. But if I'm speaking the truth, why are you beating me? Then Ananias bound Jesus and sent him to Caiaphas, the high priest. Meanwhile, as Simon Peter was standing by the fire warming himself, they asked him again, You're not one of his disciples, are you? He denied it, saying, No, I'm not. But one of the household slaves of the high priest, a relative of the man whose, pe uh, whose ear Peter had cut off, said, Didn't I see you out there in the olive grove with Jesus? Again, Peter denied it, and immediately a rooster crowed. Jesus' trial before Caiaphas ended early in the, in the early hours of the morning, and then he was taken to the headquarters of the Roman governor. 
His accusers didn't go inside because it would defile them, and they wouldn't be allowed to celebrate the Passover. So Pilate, the governor, went out to them and asked, What is your charge against this man? We wouldn't have handed him over to you if he weren't a criminal, they retorted. Then take him away and judge him by your own law, Pilate told him. Only the Romans are permitted to execute someone, the Jewish leaders replied. This fulfilled Jesus' prediction about the way he would die. Then Pilate went back into his headquarters and called for Jesus to be brought to him. Are you king of the Jews? he asked. Jesus replied, is this your own question or did others tell you about me? (laughs) Am I a Jew? Pilate retorted, your own people and their leading priests brought you to me for trial. Why? What have you done? Jesus answered, my kingdom is not an earthly kingdom. If it were, my followers would fight to keep me from being handed over to the Jewish leaders, but my kingdom is not of this world. Pilate said, so you are a king? Jesus responded, You say I'm a king. Actually, I was born and came into the world to testify to the truth. All who love the truth recognize what I say is true. What is truth? Pilate asked. Then he went out again to the people and told them, He's not guilty of any crime. But you have a custom of asking me to release one prisoner each year at Passover. Would you like me to release this king of the Jews? But they shouted back, No, not this man. We want Barabbas. Barabbas was a revolutionary. That concludes John chapter 18. Thank you so much for participating in today's daily devotion. I hope you've been blessed. If you know someone else who might also be blessed by this chapter, do share this video with them. Hope to join us again next time as we read John chapter 19. God bless you.